Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new revolver offered by Rock Island Armory. It's a 357 snub nose called the AL 3.0. You may have seen these other revolvers reviewed on this channel. This is a new collection that is offered by Rock Island Armory. They will be available in January of 2020. This here is the AL 9.0. It's got a three inch barrel and it's a nine millimeter that also has a six round cylinder. Very nice shooter. You may notice they all have the same exact grip, which is very ergonomic. I, I think they did a, a nice job with that. And over here is the AL 3.1, which is a stainless steel uh, snub nose revolver. It's the exact same as the 3.0. All right, so you're looking at the exact same revolver, two major differences. First, you can see the finish is different, stainless steel and blue, all right? And then, obviously, the MSRP is different. Many people did not like the 749 MSRP, but if you know Rock Island Armory, you will know that there's a huge difference between the MSRP and the actual gun store price. So I'm not here to say what you could pick that up at your local gun store. I can only guess along with the rest of you. But 749 MSRP here is 599. I'm going to guess upper 400s, right around $500 for the 3.0. And I will also mention that many of you guys said, hey, I love that revolver. I want one that is blued. And here is your chance to get that. And this is also a first look review, by the way, because this has not been shown before, at least on video that I'm aware of. So here we have six rounds in the cylinder, 357 Magnum, two inch shrouded barrel, all right? And also a shrouded ejector. Okay, your ejector rod right there. And 38 Special 357 Magnum with the same grip, which is is nice it's got the, those little uh, bumps on there and it's, it's rubber and it does tame some of the recoil i took this to the range and i was very much impressed with the way it handled and the accuracy now i knew what to expect because i had already taken this to the range so it felt the same way it shot the same way but i was impressed with that so i was also impressed with the 3.0 it does have a single action trigger pull that I am measuring right at four pounds, which was the exact same as the 3.1. I, I know I keep saying that. However, we have to understand that not all trigger pulls are the same. You know, for example, Glock says five and a half pounds, but then you measure three or four of them side by side and you will realize that it's not always five and a half pounds. Actually, very seldom it is. But that's separate. Getting back to this. It does have your transfer bar right which is considered a safety nice hammer there and a just under four pound single action trigger pull double action trigger pull is pretty standard with a double action revolver counterclockwise cylinder it does have a pinned in front sight and a tunneled rear sight and it's a good looking revolver these are made in the czech republic all right, take a look at that, the two-inch barrel. Let's go ahead and get it on the scale, and we will see that it is weighing in, once again, the same as this. Maybe, actually, believe it or not, it's like a half, half ounce heavier when I, when I did this. Really not sure why. One pound, 15 and one-eighth ounce. We move that to just ounces. Well, not minimum. 31 and one-eighth ounce. So it's it's heavy it is heavy and when you when you take it to the range you will see that it handles the 357 very well 34 and 3 8 ounces with six rounds of 158 grain 357 magnum when i took it to the range i thought it handled very well it, it felt good it felt natural it, it shot extremely well now these are nice revolvers they're made in the czech republic i already mentioned that and they I, you know how do you describe how a revolver performs you know you, you show the trigger pull 
and you show you know what it's made of and the weight and everything but when you get it to the range and you hit exactly what you're aiming at that's that's what you know so it's actually an individual thing am i impressed with these revolvers well yes i am i taken each one to the range i've shot them individually and they've all performed well the al 3.0 is no different and i find it to be a quality made revolver once again these will be available in january of 2020 and i know they sparked a lot of interest i think this one will do that as well if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe